Hello, hello, and welcome back to Lucky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic World Building Series. And today we're gonna be addressing uh, stuff. Today we're gonna be addressing stuff indeed. Uh, oh. Is this paused? It's paused. Okay, let's let it uh, run for a while a bit. Okay, we're gonna talk about a couple of things. Let's address first the comments that you guys had in the last couple of episodes. Uh, Cheeb is um, catching up with the uh, with the episodes and he has a lot of input to provide for us and I'm gonna go and address some of the issues. Um, we had, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, right, the old Gala, we addressed in the last one that old Gala had an issue with diesel trains collapsing his uh, train system because uh, apparently uh, they can only run on like a third of the map and that's about it. After one third of the map uh, they run out of fuel. Uh, that's a uh, approximation, I'm pretty sure it's not exactly a third of the map, but I think uh, diesel and fuel is gonna be much more... Well, actually, you know what, let's check this out. Let's see, it's uh, uh, 5th of March, you're freaking kidding me again, money? Okay, looks like we are having fun here. Uh, we're around zero, but I'm gonna keep it like that, it's fine. We're gonna be designing stuff today, so financially we should be fine. Um, right, so... Uh, that was all Gala's comment. The lone treadmill is speeding up. Looks like you're getting under it under control, though. Right. So this is uh, Cheeb's uh, comment regarding our finances, and the uh, we have a couple of responses there. Um, loan wise, yes, loans are, are a spiral that never goes away. The only thing that you need to do with the loans is you need to earn more than this. You need to earn more than this on the money that you get. So you get the money, you need to earn more than the uh, percentage of the or rate, what the loan rate is, uh, in order to keep up. Usually, usually in real life, like I said, I'm really against the loans. Unfortunately, or fortunately, capitalism works like this, that, you know, loans are often necessary. So... Well, there's not much we can do about it, but I will say that uh, uh, I, ch I didn't change my mind, but a different view of the loans is that this is a cheap money. So if you know what to do with the money, uh, perfect. Yeah, don't get a loan to buy a car, get a loan to buy a house. A house almost always appreciates in value, especially when you have a high housing crisis. Uh, more likely than not, it's it's um, gonna rise anyway, even with uh, like a crash of the market. And because people need a roof over their heads, you know, and they're always gonna need a roof over their heads. This is a you know fair thing to do. I mean, like you can always in real life, <laughs> hard for any of us smaller people to invest in a steel mill or a car factory. You can always go for a stocks of those, but you know if you know what to do better with your money than uh, to earn more than two three percent that we have over here, uh, definitely get a loan. If you don't, well, you need to be careful about that. Right. Um, continuing on. Uh, in the, right. Just to address this. Uh, yes, we hopefully are um, getting for our money the things that we need, like uh, food, like uh, alcohol that we are exporting. Food we are exporting as well. Some construction materials. I don't think that they are particularly valuable. These construction materials, which we're gonna definitely check. So let's see. Last year exports to Soviet countries are construction materials. Prefab panels were sixty-seven thousand rubles but probably just covers the fuel costs for exporting that. Boards, I'm not even bothering with exporting boards because they are so dirt cheap. And you can see here that bricks are, well, you can see that it's like 100,000 a year. That would be less than 10,000 rubles a month um, that we exported last year in construction materials. So that's not that good. Uh, this year, uh, chemicals are going to be a huge chunk because we uh, put it in a high gear, the export of chemicals. Again, this is what is keeping our loan curb or treadmill not going, but us catching up with it. So, uh, chemicals and clothing are going to be a big hit this year. I don't think they're going to catch up with the power and coal exports, but obviously um, they're going to be out there and they're going to be close by. So these are the things that are driving our economy at the moment. And we need to continue with these. We're building the whole new city, which is just expense after expense after expense after expense. Just fuel spent on the construction, all the materials that, that are needed, like iron for the steel that we're using. Um, and this kind of stuff. And of course, workforce and the food 
and everything that we are importing for people like... What are we even importing meat for now? This is probably something that I should address sooner rather than later. Uh, meat production, we do have fertile lands here, but uh, we can easily... Uh, let's do that, let's do that. Uliki is gonna be planning for our meat industries in our new area here, uh, farming and meat production. We're gonna calculate everything that we can and see if we can supply ourselves with enough uh, crops to have our meat production whole year round. Uh, I think that's a decent plan for this episode. How are we doing time-wise? Only five minutes yabbering. That's not enough. You need to. Go, you guys need to suffer more. So let's say uh, Welter said that he's innocent in the new Law and Raw Order episode. I don't think anybody is innocent. I think you need to prove your innocence. This is not how the uh, how we work, uh, Welter, and you should know that. Uh, we need to. Okay, let's continue construction slowly. Uh, we, you need to prove your innocence first. First, you need to prove your loyalty to the party and uh, and the people. No, not party. People. Yeah, let's let's call it people. Whatever that is. Um, then we have wealthier look at the prison. Uh, see the prison low uh, prisons lower crime. Yeah, let's look at the prison. I haven't looked at the prison in a while. Um, and you guys suggested that prisoners really need to be happy in order to. Um, oh, look at the loyalty. Let's go for loyalty increase in the wardens. Um, I think we can go for 45% because the average is 46 uh, for for our country here. Uh, food and everything else is fine. Cultural enjoyment, Soviet propaganda. I have a feeling that uh, Soviet propaganda should be a little bit more. Let's go similar to radio stations and this kind of stuff. Let's go 80, 10, 10 initially. Anti-religious propaganda, nothing sports, that's fine. So crime, how much criminality will be affected? Minus, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, that's it. Let's uh, let's leave it like this. We'll see how this uh, fixes things. <laughs> it probably won't. Uh, what do we have here? We have a requirement for workers, but cranes are a big one. We need cranes to finish this construction. We have some workers, 65 days to finish it. That should be done shortly, but our cranes are nowhere to be seen. What the hell are you guys working on? Oh, they're working on stuff. Unfinished roads. Oh, that's a road construction office. My bad. Okay, this one is not doing anything. Where are the cranes? Cranes are missing. Let's see where the cranes are. All the way there. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, are they working? Okay, looks like they are. We are constructing this. We have some workers. Looks like during the summer we're going to be able to finish this uh, because now they can actually manage to get to the construction site in time. So that's a great thing to see. Uh, you can see here that we're going to require footpath office for this one, for these roads. I'm going to address these roads later because eh, maybe they're going to be... No, they're not going to be important until we finish all the roads. So uh, let's see, this one is... Yeah, they're, they're, they're. You see this? This is the problem that I have. Uh, these. These both were going to the same road. I bet they were. Uh, came to the same construction. Yeah, they were. They were both delivering people to the same construction. They're not equally distributing people among the construction sites, which can be a problem. Here we need to finish this as soon as possible. Looks like this one will be. That's great, but um, that's holding back some of the other constructions that we have. Anyway, uh, yeah, bring, yeah, bring, yeah, look at your prison to see if prison, uh, prison slower crime. Yeah, and also the prisons are kind of getting to a capacity, 65, 90. But we should probably plan for another prison. Oh, right, Kayamaya. That will be in the comments that we need to address. Kachib is right. 12,000 uh, uh, crime and justice kicks in. Lower your sentences like one and a half year max. There we go. This is the thing what we needed. Thank you, Kayamaya. Uh, minor crimes, like, let's go for uh, serious crimes. We're gonna go for seven years. Uh, Kayamaya and guys, if you're watching this, let me know uh, if this kind of fits the our agenda. Should we go like this? Should we go like the one year? 1.2 years? No, let's go 0 0.7 years. Uh, that's like eight months. Uh, 2.1 years and five years. So let's, let's call it five years. Uh, lower the sentences like one and a half years max. Really? The maximum serious crime should be maximum? Okay, just checking, not sure. Remove all cases at the police station and court. Do you have orphanages? Yes, orphanages are being constructed at the moment over here. Uh, this is the one of the orphanages. Uh, should be done shortly, even though they're constructing it without cranes. You know what? Because it's almost done, I can probably just increase it to maximum. Uh, 
uh, the stout soul, the culture, etc. They are imprinted in orphans ten times per year. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we discussed this on Sunday's chat. Uh, guys, join the Discord channel if you want. We have chats uh, sometimes on the weekends or whenever we have free time. So you know, uh, join the Discord channel. It's free. Nothing needs to be paid here. Um, right. Uh, continuing on, uh, we have. Good society and a lot of propaganda, people should... Yeah, so this is what I was saying about the city here. I think we have everything done right, at least it seems like it. We have a lot of monuments, we have everything that people need. Look at the buildings here, like they don't require anything. Um, the population have radios and our rating is 70%. I think this was great. It was like 25-30% in the beginning, so this is greatly influencing us now. Um, too many criminals, crime... Oh, right, Kayamaya said also that... Uh, let's see... Uh, crime statistics, economy panel, most right tab. Okay, so we have our economy tab, most right pa uh, tab. There we go. So, let's see... Uh, this year... We had reported crimes, 171. Uh, last year we had 700. And yeah, this is exponentially increasing. Let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Police didn't come uh, for, a lot of, for a crime last year, 11. This year is 2. Uh, police did not investigate crime, 41%. Now it's 55, so it's increasing. Courts did not issue a verdict. We don't have issues with the courts. So this is telling us that we have lower police. Police did not investigate and didn't come uh, on site. So what does this mean? I believe correct me if I'm wrong uh, this is police staff that goes on the site right and these are the guys who investigate doesn't matter they're equally distributed so it doesn't matter on, on every in every police station so so this should not uh, mean anything for us at least I hope uh, but that means that we have less police stations than we should have this is why uh, hopefully this is gonna be done shortly everything is being constructed perfect uh, police station here and police station over here uh, we need a lot of uh, materials you can see our trucks here these are construction office trucks trucks delivering all this stuff uh, all across the well, map looks like we hit some uh, jugular and we have a lot of stuff to do a lot of construction happening i'm not really sure where they're bringing this they're obviously going in this direction i'm assuming it could be one of these no this is still groundwork they didn't even start on these ones anyway 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 fuel is delivered everywhere is fuel delivered over here yeah, it is. So we have fuel everywhere. Roads are being constructed. I think we are doing a decent job over here. Okay, okay let's stop. Um, I hope I had a good society, a lot of propaganda. This is what I said. Uh, people should should have been happy. The only thing uh, that changed is 12,000 crime on top. I think you're right. I will, be, uh, uh, I will do the sentences now. So I'm just reducing these sentences as they are being, you know thing is happening. Comrades are not what they <laughs> cracked up to be anymore. It was one of the release notes, uh, crime is just released, also you can uh, see the crime statistics. Yeah, thank you, Kamaya. we saw the crime statistics, I'm gonna be following that a little bit closer now. We have a couple of comments I didn't address, one of them I did. Oh no, not more loans, my republic had over 20 million rubles in debt. Uh, we discussed this in the beginning, like if you can make this money work for you, if you're borrowing money to build a city, forget about it. If you're borrowing money to build the uh, factory or something that's gonna bring out your money that's probably the best way to go about it so yeah and copti you're walking on the edge don't tell our people we're getting loans and getting them into debts we're gonna it's gonna be fine just one more roll one more dice roll and it's gonna be all fine <laughs> good jokes aside um yeah crime and justice is a pain in the neck said copti also loyalty is still weird and abstract to me well yeah let's talk about loyalty a little bit of loyalty uh you need to have a monument so now monuments you can easily see i think i I never noticed this before, but if you, uh, go, well, until recently, that if you go to a monument and then you hover your mouse over it, they usually have radial distance, what they're covering, actually it looks more like a square now than radial. Uh, this Tito here is, just a bros Tito is uh, covering huge area, more than I would like. Uh, it's uh, I didn't even realize that it's like so big of an influence, 350 meters. So it, they have a huge influence. Let's check out these Lenins and Stalins here. 
Uh, this one has 90 meters. You can see it's only covering like two residential buildings. Then we have another Tito here with 7%, which is covering most of our city, which is again, I think it's OP. I wasn't even aware that this is 700, 550 meters, that this is 550 meters, the whole freaking city. So we have this influencing our loyalty plus 7%. It's OP, definitely. Uh, probably should be tweaked, but too late now. And then Stalin has 65 meters, which is not covering literally anything. So Stalin, uh, this is the Chris's Stalin, uh, the first, I think, Stalin he made. Thank you, Chris, for this. It's covering just the, the this area here. I'm not really sure what it means when it's covering the work area, how they're influenced by the loyalty in the work area. Like, how is this Stalin influencing them? Is it the same as here? So people who spend time in this building, they are more influenced by by Stalin. That's interesting. And then again, uh, what buildings are not influenced? Uh that all of them are so that means that wherever people are are influenced by tito here as it should be uh all the way out, just to this north part here and actually i think we're lacking some uh monuments over here we have these propaganda posters they have decent distance but i don't think there's any um coverage over here of monuments doesn't matter doesn't matter okay you know what we have a new plan for this episode that would be the uh building of a new farming area which is going to be somewhere around here i'm thinking nice secluded farm here behind these hills uh we're going to have long access to it and it's going to be ha it's going to have its own dirt roads this looks like perfect place for a lot of fields uh, i'm just thinking like should i really put a farm in a corner probably should be in the center surrounded by fields so i think i'm going to go somewhere a little bit more uh, central for the farm close to the road access i think this is a decent thing to do the problem is going to be elasticity also known as electricity i need to bring it over here i need to plan these power cables how they're gonna come here but anyway anyway that's my problem your problem now is that you guys need to enjoy this one so let's get oh wait 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 let's see what else we have here uh am i missing something Huh, I don't know. I don't think we are. Finances, uh, like I said, we are recovering. You know what I wanted to do? Tell me what you think about this. Can we switch from here, uh, vehicles from here in the new construction office? Would that be... We're still working a lot here. Maybe I should. That means we wouldn't spend so much money on the construction vehicles and we would have the second one working. The second construction offices, like set of construction offices working. I might split them. I might split them. Anyway, for now, uh, let's do a time lapse.
Right, okay, let's slowly see what we can do here. So, we have a farming area. Uh, I did a little bit of calculation. These two slaughterhouses will not gonna be... They're not gonna be properly supplied with one farm. So, let's do calculations. So, uh, right, let's go from the backwards. So, we have a slaughterhouse. We got for Rob's slaughterhouse. This is not going to be enough meat for us to supply our country with meat. Period. Why is that? So 10 tons per day with 100% productivity, that would be 360... Whoa, wait. No, 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 it's gonna be. Is it gonna be? That? Okay, so 10 tons a day of meat, uh, 100 uh, people, can, 100 workers can work, that's 3,650 tons of meat uh, per year. Okay, maybe I miscalculated. So let's go and see the last year. Last year's imports from the Soviet countries is... Oh, three... St oh, okay, it's like I, I missed a zero. So we're gonna have more than enough meat in uh, from this farm. Uh, that means we're gonna have enough for exports as well. And one farm... So 10 tons of meat. Uh, 10 tons of meat, we need uh, 25 tons of livestock. I believe this is... No, that, that's the same as vanilla. Same odds as vanilla, so that means um, uh, 25 tons of livestock. Okay, so what produces 25 tons of livestock? We went for Rob's, Rob's livestock farm. Uh, this one uh, gives us 15 tons. Uh, twice that is 30 tons. So with two of these, we should have um, enough... Uh, a little bit more than enough livestock to process it all. I'm not gonna go and export livestock, at least maybe, we'll see. But uh, it's five tons only extra, so that means we're gonna be overproducing, I don't know, 20%, 18% of um, the livestock. We're gonna be overproducing, which is fine. We just lower the amount of workers working there, and that's also fine. So two of these factories, we have one, two, we have a big cold storage, we have the slaughterhouse, and one farm. Okay, so go, going back to the livestock, livestock requires 30 tons of crops per day. That means 365 days a year times 30 is going to be a little bit more than 10,000. So 3,650 3, would be with 10 times 3. That would be... Uh, can I calculate this? I can't. 11,000 something. 11,800, right? And something. 950. Um, but anyway, so just under 12,000. Uh, no, wait... 365 times 3, 9,000, yeah, 10,950, just under 11,000 um, tons of crops will be required to run this. How much can we uh, expect from one farm? Maximum productivity would be 300 tons per field. So let's say uh, we have uh, 20 fields, would be, we have 18 fields, but 20 fields, actually no, we have 20 fields. We have six small ones, but they are not fully complete. We, and we have 18 big ones. So technically that's 20 big fields. 20 big fields would be uh, 305 tons per field. That means that we have... Uh, 6,100 tons of crops we're going to be producing from here. So this is the productivity of this one farm. So in order to have this running 100%, we're going to need another farm uh, in the near future. And that's going to be overproducing crops slightly. Um, but anyway, this is going to definitely work and it's going to be running our system like we have it over here. So that's the farm. We're missing the sewage and we're missing the water production. We will address that later. Uh, I will not address it in this episode. We need to get sewage and water. I'm thinking, I'm not, yeah, I need your help, guys. So what water do we need here clean water or non-clean water because wait does it say so yeah required water quality 83 percent my bad i should have read this required water quality 93 percent uh slaughterhouse does not require water uh and nothing else here i think requires water except it's 93 percent i think we can get that from the ground can we this one is 94%. So technically we can get this from the ground, probably if we put it in the hillside here, uh, the water pumping station, uh, we can get this without purification. We'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll aim for that. I'm not sure if this is the best thing to do. Uh, we can always make an odd pipe and connect it to the farm or something, you know, from the city, but I would rather have a separate water production. Uh, system. Okay. Um, orphanage. Orphanage. I just put auto import just so we don't. Loyalty for the employees 50%. We are government loyalties is 50%. Criminality. Let's see. How do we measure criminality? I know that we can. Ha we have here crime and justice. Uh, so this year we have to. Last year we have. We already are third 
well, uh, technically we're quarter into the year. I mean, we have third of the... Uh, you know, it looks like this year... Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit worse than before. Uh, do we have police station? Yes, we do. Let's give them cars. Uh, do you need the loyalty? No. Which one's Zastava? No, no, let's go with something. Oh, again Zastava. Uh, let's go with the... T -t -t Trabant. There. Four Trabants. Uh, so they can start patrolling, and I'm pretty sure this one is not done yet. Uh, let's get them more workers here so they can finish this in seconds. Okay, so this is going to be more police stations. So courts are not a problem. Courts uh, didn't have any issues. If we check our uh, crime and justice system, last year uh, courts did not issue verdict. Only won 10 cases, 1%. And let's say that that's a statistical error. But police, police, police was the major issue last year. And uh, this also means that we have this year increase in crime because of the crime and justice kicking in after 12,000 people. So two additional police stations, I think that's definitely needed. Uh, we should be finishing this shortly. Yeah. So we're going to finish this one really quickly and put workers here as well. And in the meantime, I will get... Should we get new trucks or should we get old trucks for the... Uh, should we wait for this one? Let's, let's do this. Uh, vehicles, purchase them. Which one? Soviet Union. GZ. Is that Gaz? I don't know. Guvsk Autozavod. Let's go for these. Three of these missing staff police officers do have walking distance. They do. They can walk to work. They're already. There's some people coming to work here already. That's perfect. They don't require any. So we have better police coverage now with two additional small police stations that are not as big as the big one there. So hopefully that's going to be enough. Um, right. Orphans. Orphans. Uh, we have a couple of food supply lines. I'm just going to check here. This one has uh, stations four. Why is this one has four? Uh, let's see. I uh, look like they, they have meat here, but also I think we're importing all of this. No, only 1.3 tons we're importing, so they are consuming meat. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for new trucks. How much uh, meat will they consume? I have no idea. Uh, food obviously needs to be more than uh, clothing, so let's, get, let's go for 90. Let's go, no, uh, let's go for like this. Yeah, so we would have two tons extra just because I'm going to keep auto imports for safety. So we need the clothing, we need the um, we need two covered trucks and one, uh, one freezer. Actually, let's check the lines here. So we have food, so meat, three stops, three stops, three stops. That's too many. I want them only to have two. This one has four stops. Do we have any more meat? No meat. Do we have food? This one has... No, this is crops. Food would be food exports. We're not touching that really we're exporting food with that we shouldn't be doing that i i need to redo these um this is uh food deliveries we only have one truck directly delivering it and then we have this one this is what the hell are you doing uh Bruce warehouse all ah, right this is delivering clothing there and then do we have any uh, where's the clothing distribution three stops three stops this one has two stops Ah, that, that's the one, that's the one, yeah, my bad. Uh, no, new new trucks, new trucks for the orphanages. So we're going to go for covered hulls. We're going for total capacity. We're going to go smaller. Food is going to be bigger. So food is going to be something fast and nice, like this IFA covered. Yeah, let's go with that one. And then for clothing, something smaller. This is new one. Yeah, let's go for this one. And I will go for a new meat one as well. So that means refrigeration. Again, uh, capacity is not an issue. We can even go for the smallest one. So, what? No monies? No monies. Let's set these up first. And um, uh, then we're going to... Oh, right. We get food from the uh, food storage. That will be here. Uh, load food. And then deliver food to the orphanage. Ooh, we have a hotel as well. Mm, we, can, we can do that. We can do both. Uh, do, can we do both? Unload food and food. Off you go. Orphanage and then to hotel. This is a new hotel. Four stars. I should be importing food and alcohol here as well. Uh, alcohol is a third truck. Wait, do we have... Do they have to have their own alcohol distribution? Let's check this as well quickly. Uh, alcohol, alcohol. Two stops, two stops. Each one of them... Uh, wait, where's this uh, hotel team... 
we should have alcohol deliveries to the to this uh, hotel over here do we okay let's check it who's delivering alcohol here uh what okay and then you're gonna go for a new hotel i'm setting this up in the background you're gonna be unloading alcohol there we go so alcohol is set up from here that's perfect so what do they what else they need they need food i'm gonna have to have a separate vehicle for that i will go right uh here this is clothing sorry for doing this at night but i'm putting this mouse cursor i'm gonna go for the warehouse of our clothing that would be in the clothing production and i'm gonna deliver this clothing to our orphanage you can see here orphanage and unload here off you go i think uh, there's a couple of trucks i really need to stop from doing stuff for example this clothing here orphanage road cargo station this one here doesn't need to work anymore so let let me put you over here I'm gonna retire you just in case I'll do something with the clothing later, but uh, uh, do I have to do everything with the others? Yeah, I think I know I think I cannot do this. I don't think I can do this at the moment. This is something that I'm gonna have to rethink later because a lot of our clothing is coming from this central storage where he's delivering, so I'll leave it alone. So did we deliver everything? What are we missing? What are we importing? More important question. I'm betting fuel. I'm betting fuel. Let's see here. What? Iron? Really? We're importing iron. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. We're importing oil. That's probably for the chemical production. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll finish this later. This is going to be the focus on the next, next episode to have the orphanage working properly uh, for orphans to be happy. As you can see, we, we are auto-importing, so they shouldn't have any issues with this. And also, we have a new we have a new hotel. So that means that these lines here uh don't need to go to the hotel but let's see if this hotel has a walking distance to this bus station it does so what i'm gonna do is instead of this hot customs house you're not gonna go to hotel you're gonna go to the to this bus stop over here and we're gonna remove this one so buses are gonna deliver be delivering people to this bus stop which is in walking distance from both hotels so now they can so both hotels will get uh, uh, hopefully equal amount of uh, uh tourists so we'll see about that how it goes and again i will in next episode i will address the supply issues of these two uh of these two uh, hotel and orphanage and i think i might do redo it uh off screen maybe or we'll see how we're gonna go about with that not enough tutors to work in orphanage is it because of the loyalty i don't think it's i think we have enough i think that's an old message too many criminals yay Again, this is not something measurable for me, this crime here. Like, is it measurable? How can I... Okay, so, reported crimes. Uh, this is... Uh, let's go with this here. Okay, they're going down. That's reported crimes. No, no, they're not going down. It's a beginning of a month or a week or a day or whatever. So, it's, it's going to go up. We need to see this in time. We just implemented the police station. So, we need to do... Uh, we, we need to monitor this in order to know if uh, crime is going down or not. So, we have these two new police stations. I'm pretty sure... I'm hoping that it's going to work fine. Uh, I don't see any issues. Minor crimes are being reported. That should be okay we have gas stations for the cars that that's all should work okay this all should work oh we're getting this talinkas built real fast that's that's really nice to see okay uh anything else i want to say no no i think that's it i hope you guys uh enjoyed this one let me know what you think about our setup so uh yeah, about new farms and water and uh, everything that we discussed in this episode, loans especially. Uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave an nasty comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.